What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to pick up where we left off, we are fighting against the Russians and we're continuing to clear out Russian forces from their cap from our captured territories. So right now we're fighting some armies west of Moscow. So let's fight them and destroy them. Because right now lots of our troops are being held up trying to clear and secure areas we've captured. It's very much a necessary activity. But, uh, you know, it can be a bit frustrating to play. Uh, so... So let's get my howitzers firing my Field artillery isn't going to be doing much, I don't think. So let's make sort of a wedge shape. Well, I because we know the enemy is going to be coming in from the left, or they should be anyway. If the game is logical, that's where they're coming in from. So what I'm planning on doing is creating a defensive line outside the town for the army that's ahead of us, so we can then send troops to bottle up the uh, actual reinforcements coming- ah! Classic Empire. Okay, so these guys just hunker down, set up a defensive position because that army's depleted. This one coming in isn't. So we're going to engage their militia cavalry with our own. My howitzers can fire at whoever they like. The lancers are charging. So I might bring my light, my hussars over here. Same with my heavy cavalry. So get this unit to form square. Get this unit to also form square. And then we see the enemy columns marching into position. Fire! Maintain the rank, boys. I mean, my... Uh, those... My light infantry might be a bit vulnerable, but they will start to down dragoons from a very long distance. Out of their pew-pew guns. Russians, pff, this whole, <laughs> the reinforcing army just collapsed before I even, haven't been able to watch it. The Dragoons have been pushed back from concentrated musket fire. Let's get some Swiss Mountain Jaegers inside that town hall. Let's get these guys out here to drop squares. This really hasn't gone the way they planned. These guys are retreating in square formation. Good on them. Yeah, see, there we go, they've, they've come back. Drop the 51st into square. Deploy the heavy cavalry to help them out. Quick, run, get inside. They're not going to make it. They're going to get slaughtered. Mm. 
Okay, get you guys out of square. Join the fight. It looks like they did make it. And they're shattered. Are our guys shattered? No, they did make it into the town hall. Sweet. Okay, form up these guys closer to do more damage. So it's the 111th. go. Excellent. The militia fancy it. But they likely won't once we've uh, knock out these European mercenaries. There we go. Just send everyone. They're there thinking yes, melee combat, that's what we want. And we're there going, haha, <laughs> screw you! These are elite militia as well. There we go. Reinforcing army has been destroyed. These guys are mowing down the militia at a rate of knots. Good. There we go. Let's knock them back. So there we go. So they're going to push back. They're probably going to join the uh, the Russians that are to the south. Well, I say that the, the reinforcing army immediately proceeds not to do that. So let's move this garrison out of Moscow, so I can use the, these guys to auto resolve against the leftovers. You guys get back into the city. Okay. So let's move you down south here, then north. Let's engage all these Russian fragments in one battle. There we go. Okay. So let's see. Well, we're going to mop them up pretty easily. <laughs> I mean, most of the aren't most of their units don't have any actual uh, strength, which means they don't have the ability to withstand our musketry for very long at all. Especially when it's a lovely, lovely terrain like this. Yeah, fire round shot. Maybe not the skirmishes. We're going to be pushing up close. The cavalry is going to attempt to hold us up because they, that's what they normally do. Which is, you know, it's actually not, not bad behaviour from the AI to do that. But with all that artillery coming in. Yeah. They come there, light cavalry sharpshooters. So let's bring our the rocket artillery is firing. Not a bad volley into our heavy cavalry, but it won't be. L it won't last. Sorry, chaps. Chomp. Stop firing. I mean, most of our uh, troops can just avoid this combat altogether. My cavalry are more than enough to deal with it. So you can stop our howitzers from firing altogether.
the 11th Grenadier Guards, I remember you. enemy cavalry. Should just stop my artillery, all of my artillery from firing really. You guys all deploy into square. You men get into position. Grenadier guards are broken, the light cavalry is still kicking. Oh, okay. God, we've got artillery, little spots of artillery everywhere. Go on, you men. Fire a volley into the regiment of horse. Because they're going to plough straight through that unit. Square or no square. Now the units push up. Skirmishes start to run around over to here. Lots of this is just artillery. some actual infantry there for now. There we go. So many routing fragments of units. You charge down the general's bodyguard because he's spoiling for a fight. A tiny unit of garrison guards and one howitzer. Get people out of square. You guys charge down the general's bodyguard. Yeah, you'll knock out that regiment of European of infantry mercenaries, I reckon. Artillery does have range on the 80th. Although the howitzer is in quick line range. There we go. Oh, it's easy to just fight, just get into the scrum. Tactics be damned. Keep pushing up into that hill. Now you guys keep attacking their heavy horse howitzers. You 
guys also try and hit them. Huh. You guys charge downhill into this infantry regiment. In you go. All you guys swarm and chase down that regiment of horse. Logic be damned. Just throw men away. Muhaha. Plenty more where that came from. There you go, swarm and attack the general. There he goes. So it says the militia regiment is winning. They might they might be temporarily. Set these men up like so. Yes. The Russians have fallen. Push on. Casualties be damned at this point. It does not matter. We do not need to worry. You then charge onto the 24 pounder up the hill. Same with you. Light infantry are broken, now there's a unit of line infantry that's holding us back. Got the grenadiers and guardsmen pushing into the Russian infantry here. It's been the 101st, go take out that unit of howitzers. <laughs> this has been a bloody fight. Hold on, how did you get there? Charge in. That's right. It's just down to this general's bodyguard to knock out the last set of guns that ran through my position. Yeah, there we go. God, that was real messy. Real messy, but critical, but necessary. We need to uh, remove some of these units. There we go. Servo vostro, signore. Got on, Fabio. Knock him out. Avanti. Does the new men need to replenish? Everyone will need to do a little bit more because they always share casualties out when things like that happen. Okay, great. That's really good. Okay, so you guys now. So let's put you attack the city. You men engage Yazid Rusti outside of the city because then that opens up the uh, the road to Damascus as well to be secured I mean controlling the territories might be a bit tricky uh, because there will be quite big uh, quite big 
discontent factors and religious factors at play. But there we are. The victory will be ours, the security of the Middle East will be ensured, and this is a lovely bit of terrain. There we go. So let's put Cairo guards flanking the guns. And then we've got infantry and some African light infantry actually on each flank. Lots of heavy cavalry as well. Exclusively heavy cavalry. And this army hasn't seen action either. So we must might actually get these guys firing round shot to try and get them to uh, rank up. I'm curious if they will... Yeah, I was wondering if they would push up. Because right now... Well, bearing in mind we do have a big block of Ottoman forces coming up. Well, we will have a big block of Ottoman forces coming up. I want to try and get, get some experience on my units. So the left hand howitzer focus on the camels. Right hand howitzer focus on those camels when they arrive. My field artillery can continue selecting their own targets. Which right now seems to be this desert warrior unit. So the 25th light foot, like they've got longer accuracy but the range is bad, the reloading skill is low. Okay, put the cover out on the flank. You guys, deploy stakes as a bit of protection for yourselves. The same with you guys actually. To be honest, send a cuirassier unit forward to take out the Mamelukes. Let's turn fire well off for my African light infantry as well, because I don't want them to cause any trouble. start to shrapnel shot now because they're sufficiently close. You shrapnel shot the Semini, you shrapnel shot the Desert Warriors. Hello, the Hidden Light Infantry has popped up. They're going to start deploying stakes. Bringing over some more Mamelukes for support. Beautiful. Okay, now my house is switching to quick climb, because why not? General's bodyguard consists of the general and an aide. Here with the African lights. Okay, run and run quick around the spikes. Look at that, they just stop next to each other. Oh, here comes the general's bodyguard. Hello. What's going on over here then? I know what's going on here. Go on, African lights. Oh, 
That was a general's bodyguard unit, but not the general's bodyguard. Okay, right, this is... You guys both start shrapnel shotting that camel nomad. Now you guys charge the light infantry, because you can charge and go straight through their defences. These men are going to charge us, but not before we get a volley off. And a bunch of shrapnel fire. Cavalry, 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 heavy cavalry. Go straight past. We might lose a handful from combat, kind of dipping in and out. But one thing we will definitely have to keep an eye on is they don't chase them down. We need to run through this way. We can try and kill maybe a handful the second they break. But apart from that, run straight out. So much Janissaries, it's charging our line. Poor souls. Where's our household cavalry charge in? Get our light infantry to target the general's bodyguard. You guys hit the Nizam. These guys all stop firing. Or at the very least, go over here. You gotta stop firing. Stop our howitzers from shooting. You men continue to chase them down. Destroy the light infantry. Fundamentally, we know we've got a whole bunch of enemy troops coming our way from the from Ankara as soon as they start deploying them. And that's what we want. Constantinople Infantry Guards. Ah, come on, five Nizam lights. There we go, they've been knocked out. Probably want you to hit the Janissaries first. The Janissaries are the ones I want. Again, keep an eye on the stakes, but we're actually pretty safe over there. Okay, there's a Mameluke unit that's routed, but not quite. So let's... Run our light infantry over there. Stop our howitzers. We want to continue fighting, but then that, that means that the guy stuck against the house is going to cause problems. One last guardsman. Four remaining dudes here. Hit the Semini. You guys hit the Muslim. You guys hit the Semini. You guys carry on trying to do as much damage as you can to the pikes. But they're quite... They're very likely to rout, probably. But yeah, I want my infantry over here, just so they could open fire and just execute the guy, more or less. Do 
charge into the Muslim. There they go. Oh, so now it is just the... It's the pikemen, although the cavalry's done a great job. There we go. But yes, that's opened. That's knocked out one army. It doesn't change the battle in the city, because what we could see previously was the this. For some reason, sometimes it does this. So there's a garrison plus an army. Like, stood in the city. Seamen so march on towards Damascus. You guys push east. They've got some experience across the board. Let's try and provoke more of these armies to leave Ankara. Done all this. Could attack Riga. I want to see what these guys do. Let's hit end turn. Yeah, my armies are marching into position in northern Italy, but again, like I said, I want I only really want to deploy them once they've done stuff. There we go. Hmm. Oh damn, they're marching them back. They really don't want to give up. I wonder how much of their territory they have to lose in order for them to uh, come to the conclusion that they may have to actually deploy some of their <laughs> some of their troops to actually protect it. Yeah, so now the Russians are going to start a campaign of raiding, which you can understand. They are fundamentally a spent force, so it's the only thing they can afford to do. They are trying to retreat back to the uh, to their territories. Oh, you guys are also going to run into us. Okay, we are going to fight it, but not in this episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for yet another fight against the the Russians. I am going to manually do it because my army's a bit a bit weak. So, see you in a second, everyone. Well, not in a second. Sorry. See you in the next episode. Thanks, everyone.